Are you scared of me? Yeah, I've sort of, I'm just edging further and further in there so that I just get crushed. What is it? <laughs> and we've landed on the Future Automation stand with Will. Thank you for having me. Come on then, stand number. Uh, it's five slash R80. Right, that's the third attempt at this. Yeah, so third attempt. <laughs> we're going to kind of get through this. We've got the stand number, we know what day it yep. is. You're in shots. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> so it's good. It's, it's almost perfect. Yeah, it's almost perfect. Let's see if we can get to the yeah, end give, of it. Yeah, um, give, give it Tell time. me a little bit about Future Automation and the services you provide. Yeah, so we're a design-led engineering company. We actually make uh, moving architectural solutions, okay. so like hiding TVs mainly, that's like our bread and butter, but we also do like electrical enclosures for yep. smart lighting and smart AV sort of home control. Okay. Um, we also hide uh, things like sofas, so we do room transformations, so yeah, like yeah. moving sofas. So if you haven't seen it before, yeah. this is like cool bond shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah pretty much. Uh, yeah. And what we'll do is we'll link to the YouTube videos that I think you've got out there that shows quite yeah, a lot of this stuff, because it's a very visual thing, isn't uh, it? Yeah, you really have to see it in motion to actually understand it. So where did the, I suppose, where did the company come about uh, in terms of the, um, the solutions you provide? Because it is really unique. Yeah, so it? it's quite, um, it actually came from customer feedback. Okay. So originally, about 20 years ago, um, we were actually a hi-fi integration company. Okay. And one of our clients actually asked us if they could hide a projector in their ceiling. So we actually uh, hired on a couple of designers to actually create a wow. product that would then become our projector drop. That so was that was our very first. Product one. Yeah, that was our product one. And how many products are there now? About 350. Wow, original. and you do custom as well, still, yeah. don't you? Yeah, so because we actually manufacture everything in house, yeah. uh, we actually can customize any of those products. Uh, so if you need something that's slightly larger, uh, needs to take more weight, or needs to move in a different way, we can actually customize any of those products. Very amazing, isn't it? Yeah, and then we do completely one off uh, bespoke design as well. Yeah. So we're the only manufacturer in the industry that British actually, manufacturer yeah British as well, as well. yeah yep. it's always important I think yeah we actually have all of our manufacturing equipment in Bedford Stevenage and Kimpton yeah so we've got can they can the guy can I suppose the industry come and visit yeah so we do offer factory tours in Bedford uh, it's quite an impressive we're doing site. that yeah yeah, yeah it's quite cool isn't yeah. it yeah so you actually get to uh, see things like our laser machine so we've got a million pound laser machine that is like... I mean, I'm addicted yeah, to CNC. Probably, yeah, yeah. I'm so a weirdo we, that can watch that. Oh, no, we've, we've just bought a CNC router yeah. for our new building. So you just Bedford. get lost for days watching yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, so you sort of just see it go like... That would be my like lunchtime and break time. Oh, That's all I yeah. do. I just kind of sit there and watch a CNC machine oh, go around. Oh, yeah. It's, so um, we're weird, aren't we? Yeah, yeah we're really, really cool. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> I'm all about it. ISC 2020. Yep. What have you brought to show the kind of the kids? Oh, OK. Uh, so the cool stuff is really our hinge up. Yeah. Um, so these are running off servo motors. Okay. So we've actually been researching it for about two years. Um, last year we actually showcased the fastest TV lift in the world, which came up and rotated in four seconds. Um, so this is like the next development of that. Okay. Uh, so you, so you're taking concealment to kind of the next level. Yeah. yeah? So we. We're trying to move into the outdoor market as well. Yeah. So we're actually pitching this as an outdoor focused solution. Okay. So you could actually go by a pool or on a yacht deck. Okay. Uh, yeah, it would be quite an interesting application for that. And obviously it looks like you've got some new panel ideas next yeah, to me, behind so, me. Yeah, so we do have our example of our fully wired enclosure. So we actually offer that as a service now. So yeah. customers can send us their modules uh, KNX, Crestron, Control 4, uh, Lutron as well. And we'll actually wire the modules up for the customer. Brilliant. And then send it uh, fully site ready. Yeah. yeah. So as soon as the uh, panel arrives on site, they just pop it on the wall and it's good to go. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. And then we've got the IWRE as well, which okay. is the in wall rack enclosure. Yeah. So this is really to 
work as like a junction point between the home and your server. Okay. So normally you'd sort of have cables hanging out of the walls and it looks really unsightly. Cables can get damaged. Um, instead, we would wire all of the uh, networking into this panel. Yeah. And then have a, like, add, a cord going from your main rack to the. To yeah, this. so yeah. you uh, terminate everything in here and then you just sort of connect it to the it's server. That's a brilliant idea. Yeah. 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 So, so always looking at new solutions to help. Yeah, people. exactly. Yeah. That's amazing. I mean, that's the idea. Yeah. yeah, we're solutions based. So, Will, how many years have you done Amsterdam? Uh, third year. So, yeah, third year you told me. me a little secret before that he's never been into Amsterdam. Yeah. I've been from the hotel to the Rye and back again so, six times. <laughs> so, I'm just so, dis so I disappointed in yeah. you. We normally I hit, thought we could be friends. Well, it's normally we start at the first bar and then it sort of ends at the first you, bar when you, someone goes like that. Yeah, which is, <laughs> which is one bar. Yeah. I mean... So tonight, me and Will are going straight into the centre. Well, yeah. yeah? Just beeline Shots. straight for... Yeah. yeah. We can do a bar crawl. Okay. I'm sure. It's on camera now. As long as they're so fall in the river. <laughs> officially. Are you inviting everyone? Because this gets edited today. Oh, yeah. And goes straight out. Okay, so future automation do... drinks, bar crawl, Drawing central Will answer down. I'll send anyone the number for Will. <laughs> I've got his private number. Oh, yeah. And uh, we'll see you there. We'll start a WhatsApp group. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah it's the best way to do these yeah. things, like a stag do. Actually, no, you end up with pictures. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly that. that. Well, thank you, Will, for today. Yeah, been great. No problem. And uh, I'll drop some links below to future automation and we'll cut to some of the shots to the, the moving stuff, the footcalls. Cool